Hi, I'm Hans Wilkes and I'm here at the Bakemark Training Center and today we're going to talk to you about soaking grains. Grains have a lot of nutrition and they're really beneficial to our diets. So today what I'm showing to you is actually soaking those grains before you use them. Soap grains actually release a lot of those nutrients so that when you eat them, your body is able to absorb those nutrients and the grains in that bread are actually palatable so that they don't crunch real hard on your, on your teeth. The process of soaking grains is similar whether you're using a cracked grain or a whole grain or a mixture like I have here today. Any given amount of grain, simply cover, this is very hot water, it doesn't need to be boiling, boiling is okay, but just very hot water, 140 above is, is good. And then just cover the grain, gently working it into the grain so that the water is actually completely in the mixture itself. So just slowly add the liquid and keep stirring until you know that the water is throughout the mixture. This can be done in a large bowl or a small bowl. But what you want is you want enough water there to completely cover the grains. Once you are at this point, then make sure that, uh, that you've got sufficient water. And you can see these grains are already starting to absorb some of that moisture. So we want to make sure the grains are completely covered. I'm going to stir in four ounces of molasses. I personally like molasses because it's not quite as sweet and it adds a little bit of, it adds a little bit of color to the grains as well. You might ask yourself, why should we add molasses? Well, if you're making these ahead of time, molasses or raisin juice or honey is a natural preservative. So you can store these grains for up to three or four days in the refrigerator. So just gently mix in the molasses or the honey or the raisin juice, whatever you're using, until it's completely mixed in. When you've got it mixed in well, then take that and put it in the refrigerator at least overnight. Now we've soaked these grains in the refrigerator at least overnight, and you can see that these grains now are soft and pliable and very moist in their, in their appearance. Now these grains, when you use them in your bread, are not going to pull the moisture out of the dough itself. Actually, they will add moisture and add freshness so your loaf, your grain bread loaf, stays fresher longer. And with that added molasses, gives it a real nice flavor and the grains themselves are going to be very palatable and very soft on the inside of the loaf. Yes, the ones on the outside may get a little bit crunchy but they still won't be hard and brittle like uh, unsoaked grains. The recommended percentage that I would use in a sourdough bread or in a whole wheat bread or in a multi-grain bread would be about 20% to dough weight. And remember that if you're adding grains to your bread, the grains will not expand. There will actually be a burden on the dough, so you need to also increase your weight. So now we have this finished loaf of bread. It has about 20% of the uh, soaked grains in it. You can see the grains there, and with today's trend on healthier foods and healthier breads, Grains are very much on the mind of the consumer, and this is a very easy way for you to have very delicious and very palatable bread. For more information on our products and recipes, please visit us at yourbakemark.com.